In a Terezin, in a very strange manner, he paints his surroundings as far as nature goes, the streets and the trees, in a manner that is vivacious, colorful. We say to ourselves, how come? I think we tend too much to rely on cliches. The Holocaust is something which is viewed as a black and white phenomenon. Well, it wasn't. In Terezin, in spite of the very famous saying, no butterflies, there were butterflies and there were flowers and things were blooming. And it is this dichotomy of nature continuing in its course, and at the same time, people summoned every Tuesday to the transports, which are transports to death. This is the drama. In Terezin, Peter didn't keep a diary. He was uh, using his copybook, which he bookbinded by himself, as a report of his uh, intellectual activities. June 1944. I have made a physical map of Asia and have started a map of the world. I have read H.G. Wells, Christina Alberta's father, part of Descartes' Discourse on Method. I have learned ancient history, Egyptians, Babylonians, Indians, Phoenicians, Israelites, Greeks, Persians, etc. The geography of Arabia, the Netherlands, and of the moon. 